Hi Taurus, it's time for your daily energy check. It's time for our daily get together. Today is Saturday, it's January 20th, 2024, you guys. Let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages spirits have for you today, what you should be aware of. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on. No more guessing. Okay, so the very first card you have is the Five of Swords. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles. You're saying here with your first two cards, I don't care at what expense, I am paying attention to me. If you want to walk away, you can walk away. There's no conversation here. And then you have the Ten of Swords. So you are um, letting go of pain. Your focus is on you with the Nine of Pentacles. But I, I'm seeing here that there's going to be a bit of a conflict here. The next card you have is the Four of Coins and the Queen of Cups in the center of your reading. There's a strong energy here, you know, that you are a lover. You know, you love and you give, but it's time for you to focus on you. It's like you're being selfish with your time here. And then you have the Page of Cups, the High Priestess. That is Pisces energy. The Ace of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Temperance. And the Three of Cups. Whatever you're doing, Taurus, I like it. I really, really like it. Because it's like at the end of this, there's some type of celebration here. And it's all coming from you fighting for yourself. Tell me why the Five of Swords is here. There you are, Taurus, the Empress. That's you. That's your energy there. You're fighting for you. That's exactly what I thought. It's like you have an idea and um, you are making time for this idea. And I feel like there's someone else in your life that you're kind of like pushing off onto the back burner. You're emotionally walking away here and you have the world. So... Now I'm seeing you starting a new journey ahead of yourself here, Taurus, by doing this. Whether this person that we can see walking away in the background, or no, not on this card. Or yeah, you can. You can see someone like right there. It's been over. You're holding out your sword. Enough is enough. And the Nine of Pentacles is you putting all of your thought and in your mind onto yourself in something here in your energy. Tell me, yeah, you want justice. This is Libra energy on the bottom of the deck. You want what is yours, basically, and you're taking it. You're dropping these ten wands on your back. I don't know if this is time or what it is that someone is burdening you with. But these burdens have become a ten. And they're getting ready to fall off your back. I'm seeing like a huge financial increase in your money here coming in. Because you're doing this. This manifestation that you're doing. You're manifesting maybe a new home. But you're the magician right now. You're switching to your um, your other self, I want to say. It's like you're looking for happiness here. A manifestation. 
of dropping burdens. It's like the burdens that you're carrying on your back. I'm seeing you making something happen here. And it's like you're burning the what you were carrying on your back in the fireplace here. The Knight of Swords is here. I really feel like you're thinking, I got stuff to do. I don't have time to focus all of my time and energy on um, someone else anymore. Then you have the Ten of Swords here too. Another Ten. An ending and a new beginning taking place. Because you're focused on your money apparently. Your money is important to you right now. And your own happiness, your own peace of mind. You may be finding it peaceful to spend time at home right now. I'm putting work into something with the Three of Pentacles. And then right next to it, you have the Three of Wands. So you're, you're like putting work into something. You can see yourself working on it right there. And right here, you're waiting for your ships to come in. And I already see a ship coming in. So you're going from the Empress, I, Empress energy the, where you are um, planning something. And I'm seeing a messenger arriving here with the Knight of Swords. Like someone's going to give you a really good idea. And they don't even realize they're doing it. They're just talking to you. And it gives you this great idea of a manifestation. The next card you have is you have the Four of Pentacles here. So you're being very stingy with your time or your money or maybe even both right now. And the thing is, is I feel like, I feel like today and today is whenever you're watching this reading, um, it may feel like something bad is happening today with the Five of Swords. Like you may feel like, oh, you know, just like something's not going your way. But this is actually the universe pushing you in a different direction, Taurus. So trust the universe because I'm really seeing you being pushed in a different direction here. So it pay attention and trust the process. Um, don't get upset if something happens today. Um, that that seems like you're not getting what you want. This is happening for a reason. It's the universe pushing you in a new direction. All right. I see angels around you right now, Taurus. I see the universe around you, surrounding you. You're more important than what you realize. You might be kind of reserved here with the Four of Pentacles and you may you may even think, you know, mm, I don't know if I'm doing the right things. I don't know if I'm saying the right thing, if I'm doing the right thing with my life. What I'm hearing is it's up to you. Your choices are up to you. Your intuition's really strong right now. Um, but this, this new chapter that you're entering in, it's like you're very, very important. I see eyes from the other side on you and they just want to see what you're going to do. What you do, it doesn't really matter to them. They want to see what you do. It's like the choice is yours here. Tell me why the Four of Pentacles is here. You're very, very, very important. The choice, the direction that you go is all up to you. I'm seeing a win-win outcome here. But you may be holding yourself back here with the Four of Pentacles. You may be afraid to stand up. 
but you're going to win okay you have the six of wands here so this is victory success crossing over the finish line regardless of whether you go down the green side or the purple side and with the queen of cups in the center of your reading um I'm feeling like the like one of the important things for you to know is um one of your greatest accomplishments are going to be what you give. Tell me why the queen of cups is here. Yeah, what you give seven of pentacles and it's like you have a smile on your face it's like you're giving from the heart tell me why the queen of cups is here the five of wands the ten of pentacles and the hanged man Look at the bigger picture, Taurus, on something here. And it has to do with what you're giving. It's like you're putting money in a piggy bank here, which is the Ten of Pentacles. So I'm seeing you having some type of great abundance coming into your life. And the Five of Wands is here. So you, you may feel like... Um, Like you're giving a lot already. And I feel like that's good. Like this is your greatest accomplishment. It's like you're putting wands in the hands of others. You're giving power to others with what you're with what you are getting here with the Ten of Pentacles. Whatever this is, I see you sharing it. This is like a piggy bank. This is big money. This is not small money, Taurus. The next card you have is you have the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? About something flipped over. The Four of Wands. This is a huge success. This is a huge celebration. It's not a small celebration. I feel like you're going to do something and it feels like with a little bit of effort here with the page of cups it's going to pay off huge a small effort is going to pay off in a big way and you may be worried that you're giving too much but um i don't think you are i think you're i think you're right where you're supposed to be right now Because this is 11-11, you're on the right path. You're going in the right direction. It's a win-win outcome here. Um, I see you doing something here with very little effort, but a big payoff, Taurus. It's like something's going to come very easy to you. Why is the Page of Cups here? The Hierophant and the Sun. This is your energy. And there's the Sun, Leo energy. Do you know how good this is, Taurus? You could be a spiritual teacher here, but you're doing something here and the sun is shining down and growing like some type of a crop or something that you're planting, some seeds that you're planting. And the energy here is, it doesn't matter which direction you go in because you could have a couple different um thoughts in your mind that lead you to success and victory and crossing over the finish line and all of that 
Um, I'm seeing here that you're holding back, okay, from the possibilities that could be. Um, and I forgot what I was going to say. I'm just feeling like like some type of messenger, like someone's going to say something and it's going to be like an aha moment and you choose which direction you move into and it's going to be a huge success. But you're putting like love on the back burner right now. I can see that this is on the back burner. You're prioritizing yourself. And then you're showing up here as a high priestess. You have the divine, the love of the divine, like unconditional love for you here, telling you you're on the right path. Whatever you're going to be doing, it's aligning with your higher self. And so it's going to come very easy. It could be something that you're doing right now for some of you. But it's, it's um, branching off, if it is. And then you're in this high priestess energy. So you're very psychic. And trust your intuition. Tell me why the high priestess is here. You've learned many lessons, right? This Page of Swords, this is a student. And this is you learning something. And I feel like these are life lessons because you're showing up here as the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords, male or female, it's someone who's been through like some serious stuff in your past. A lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak. And you're showing up here as the high priestess and holding this sword because it's like wisdom. Like you're very wise, very smart. And something very exciting is going to happen. Okay, you have the Ace of Wands next. Something's going to really turn in your favor and it's success. Look at the swords. Look at the mind. It's like your, your mind is becoming very clear and sharp right now. Tell me why the Ace of Wands is here. You're coming across something here, Taurus, that's going to move you into calmer water. You have the Six of Swords here. And I feel like this is... Um, Whatever you're struggling with, whether it's money or whatever your struggle is, you're moving into calmer water. Things are going to be smooth sailing for you because you're like aligning with your soul's purpose here. The stars here. Wow. Could be opening up your own business. The king of money, the king of pentacles is there judgment you making a choice a decision to invest in this this business this your home your um stability all of that and just rinsing off uh, things that you don't have any control over you have control over your own mind which is better than having control over anybody else you have control of your own mind and there's like this epiphany moment, this realization where your wishes are going to come true. <coughs> and this is something that you're doing, Taurus. It's not someone coming to knock on your door. You need to make a decision, though. You got the Two of Pentacles here. And there's an energy here of something where you're feeling disappointment. Maybe this is with a person. You have the King of Wands there. 
So, and then we have the Queen of Wands here. So there's someone here that somewhere in this energy um, where there's a lot of passionate times between the two of you, but you're feeling like this is not making you happy. You're actually feeling some regret when it comes to this connection. You have the King of Cups and you have the Ace of Cups here. So I want to see what this is about. Tell me why the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups are here together. Yeah, you're pushing back on love. You got the Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So whoever this is that you're holding hands with, this person might be someone who is not being honest with you. Um, there's love here. But I feel like there's love here. I see it. The King of Cups, the Ace of Cups. But I'm seeing you pushing him away. I don't have time for this right now. Like, the, you show up like someone you've been through this in your life in the past. And you've spent a lot of downtime, you know, trying to get yourself back up again. But you've learned the lesson. The Page of Swords is there. You have already been the student. You already have the answers behind the veil. And now it's like, don't waste my time. You're pushing back. Don't waste my time. This investment is about self-love. And it's going to take you places, Taurus. Tell me why the Queen of Cups is here. I mean, you guys, I mean, the Queen of Wands. Look at this card. Someone here is like getting a new hairstyle, a new color. Um, the way you dress is different. The way you act, you have like this new confidence. This time when some, when this deceiving energy hits you, it's like it doesn't put you down like the Ten of Swords energy. It doesn't leave you laying on the ground with swords in your back. This time it's like, no, it's okay. Go ahead and go away. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. I got other stuff to do. You're not wasting your time on this. You're turning into the Queen of Wands, male or female. Tell me why the Queen of Wands is here. I love it. You have a wish. This is Aquarius energy. This is Aries energy, the fool. You you just let go of, I mean, the seven of swords that just showed up, that can be someone who's lying, cheating, or stealing. But there's some type of negative love energy here that's showing up that I'm seeing you pushing it back from and just letting it go. And it's almost like this feels like a wish fulfillment to you. Because I'm seeing you here just having all of this extra time and spending your money and your focus on yourself, starting a whole new journey. And this whole new journey, you're you're letting go of a lover. I can see that, someone that's been holding you back. Why are you doing this? And it's like you feel... I mean, look at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Swords, a whole new way of thinking, a feeling of freedom. Why is the Fool here? You're starting from zero and you're happy about it. Wow. Your coins are going to be... Um, really really doing really good Taurus you may be giving a lot out um, and the scales may seem like they're not fair right now but this is going to turn into the ten of pentacles it's going to like be be un 
it's going to be something here where things are going to start moving very fast for you and this emperor energy is what you're going to be um embodying this is someone in control someone in power someone in charge a strong strong energy here a boss of maybe the king of pentacles this can be someone who owns their own business this is someone who's making a lot of money a lot of good money all right you guys let's look at i really like your reading today because i'm seeing you turning your focus like don't get me wrong i'm seeing something happening and i feel like you're gonna feel like ugh. You know, like something's not going your way, but I'm seeing you, I'm seeing you with the five of swords energy. It's like, um, just, it's like, you don't care if someone's walking away. It's like, you're releasing it because you, you are deciding to. You know, you're holding up your sword here and you're fighting for you. And your energy in the center of the reading shows up as the Queen of Cups. Like you give and love and give. You have temperance. And then there's a celebration here with the Three of Cups. There, This is like an angel on the card of temperance. Tell me why temperance is here. Yeah, see your angels, your guides are sending you messages. Temperance is Sagittarius energy, but you could be seeing um, the numbers 11, 11, repeating numbers. And these repeating numbers um, are like your angels. They're letting you know. When you start getting these signs like this, what I'm seeing that you're going to be getting, you may see something unique or special about birds or repeating numbers or feathers the eight of swords and the six of pentacles mm. i just see you with the eight of swords it's like you're blindfolded to anything else and you're repeatedly thinking about um, the six of coins your money your stability here is what's on your mind and you will celebrate here with the three of cups why is the three of cups here yeah because you you're going to be very successful Taurus the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor I don't know what you're doing here, but you have huge coins, huge money showing up in your energy. And it's something that's coming to you without a lot of effort. It's something aligned with your higher self, with your soul that you're doing. All right, let's get some advice from the universe. Spirits are telling you to look at the bigger picture, to zoom out, because they're, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm feeling like something may happen where you feel a bit of disappointment, but this is just the universe staring you in a different direction. Okay, so a new start is coming, and this is new moon. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. I would watch for signs. And I feel like someone may say the simplest thing to you, like during a conversation or something. And you may just have like this epiphany moment, like that's the direction I want to go in. 
but you can, you really can't go wrong. Um, you just need to release negativity, full moon and Scorpio, and surrender to the divine, full moon, trust in the universe. And on the bottom of the deck, you have the answers you need are coming. And this is full moon in Gemini. All right, Taurus, things are looking up. Things are going to be going in your favor. Um, do not be bummed out if there's like an argument or something that takes place, some type of a conflict. It's the universe staring you in a new direction. And just look at this card. It looks like a very fun, exciting new direction that you're going into. All right, you guys, I am sending you love and light. And um, I love you guys. Take care of you today. And I will see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.